the lovely sight of the rising sun. The high mountains with white patches of clouds floating across. The beautiful expanse of colorful flowers. The dancing leaves in the wind. The rippling waters and cool blue skies. Nature's gift of vision gives us the enormous pleasure of enjoying such miracles. But with untreated glaucoma, the story may not be the same. Glaucoma is an eye disease with a number of different causes, which in most cases produces increased pressure within the eye. In an eye that has glaucoma, more fluid is produced than can be removed by the eye. With nowhere else to go, this fluid builds up in the eye, causing an increase in pressure. Over time, this increase in pressure transfers to the rest of the eye. The optic nerve, the weakest nerve in the eye, is most vulnerable to damage from this elevated pressure. Continuous elevated pressure or spikes in pressure can damage the optic nerve and may result in vision loss and can also lead to blindness if left untreated. Many people don't know what glaucoma is. The exact cause of glaucoma is not known. One of the major risk factors is high pressure in the eyes. Hence, it is very important to keep up with your medicines on a daily basis to reduce the chances of gradual vision loss or blindness. The common types of glaucoma are open angle glaucoma, angle closure glaucoma, congenital glaucoma or glaucoma occurring at birth, secondary glaucoma due to the use of medications, trauma, etc., chronic angle closure glaucoma. Most people who have glaucoma don't have any symptoms. The symptoms of glaucoma may vary according to the type of glaucoma. Most people who are diagnosed with glaucoma don't know much about the disease and its risk factors. People with diabetes are at an increased risk of getting glaucoma. Hence, they should be disciplined with their medications and regularly visit their doctor. The risk factors for getting glaucoma are increasing age, especially greater than 40 years of age, a family history of glaucoma, untreated high blood pressure or hypertension, untreated diabetes or high blood sugar levels, short-sightedness or myopia, high pressure in the eyes due to eye injury, inflammation, tumor or advanced cataract, prolonged use of corticosteroid drops, tablets or ointments. If left untreated, glaucoma will cause blind spots in vision, tunnel vision and finally total blindness. Glaucoma is the leading cause of preventable blindness. Hence, it is important to follow the instructions of your doctor carefully. It is essential to keep intraocular eye pressure under control by using medications consistently and scheduling eye appointments regularly. Some of the specific tests to detect glaucoma are Tonometry Tonometry is usually the initial screening test for glaucoma. It is a simple, painless procedure that measures your intraocular pressure after numbing your eyes with drops. Gonioscopy This test is done to determine the angle at which the fluid in the eye drains out. A special lens is placed in your eyes to inspect the drainage angle test for optic nerve damage. In order to check for optic nerve damage, your doctor uses an instrument to examine the back of your eyes, also known as a fundus examination. Photographs and images of the optic nerve can help detect the severity of glaucoma. Visual field test or parametry. In this test, your doctor will evaluate your vision to check whether your visual field has been affected by glaucoma. The treatment of glaucoma is aimed at reducing the pressure in the eyes by improving the draining of eye fluids. 
reducing the production of this fluid or both. If detected early, treatment and regular eye checkups can prevent loss of vision. The treatment of glaucoma aims at only preservation of available visual fields. It cannot reverse the damage already done. If vision loss has already occurred, appropriate treatment can prevent further vision loss. Treatment options for glaucoma can include eye drops, pills, laser surgery, filtration surgery or a combination of these approaches. Steps to administering eye medication. Before each use, wash your hands, shake the bottle, remove the screw cap and place it in a clean, dry area. First, hold the bottle upside down between your thumb and middle finger. This allows the product to flow directly into the dropper. Second, gently tilt your head back and position the bottle above the eye to be dosed. Do not touch the eye with the dropper tip. Third, place a finger under your eye and gently pull down until a pocket is made between your eye and lower lid. Fourth, gently squeeze the sides of the bottle to dispense one drop of medication and fifth, keep your head tilted backward and close your eye for one to two minutes to allow absorption of the medication into the eye. If eye drops alone don't bring your eye pressure down to the desired level, your doctor may also prescribe oral medications. Surgery. If eye drops and oral medications are ineffective, your doctor may recommend eye surgery. Persons who suffer from glaucoma should follow certain lifestyle measures to ensure the disease is kept under control. When drinking liquids, make sure that you drink small quantities. More liquids consumed in a short time can temporarily increase eye pressure. Exercise safely. Certain exercises increase intraocular pressure. Talk to your doctor about an appropriate exercise program. Use only medication prescribed by your treating physician. Do not put yourself in stressful situations since stress is known to trigger acute glaucoma. Glaucoma has no cure. However, appropriate medication can halt the progression of the disease. Persons diagnosed with the disease have to be on lifelong treatment and regular checkups. Hence, prevention is the watchword. Follow these steps to prevent glaucoma. Regular checkups can help identify glaucoma in its early stages before irreversible damage happens. Persons between 18 and 40 years must have regular eye checkups once in two years. Those above 40 years must get regular eye checkups every year. People with a risk factor for developing glaucoma must have regular checkups every year. In case you have glaucoma, you will be required to make more frequent visits to your treating ophthalmologist. These visits are important to assess whether change of treatment is needed in case your glaucoma is progressing. You can also prevent glaucoma if you maintain a healthy body weight, keep your blood pressure in control and keep blood sugar in control. Since serious eye injuries can lead to glaucoma, wear a mask or other eye protection gear while performing activities that carry a risk of being hit in the eye.